Hey, welcome back to Grow New Plants. Today I'm gonna to do kind of an update and kind of an experiment with these bur oaks. These are the bur oaks that I planted back at the beginning of May. And they took, had a real cold spell. It took them a while to germinate. So they sat for a while before they finally started germinating. Uh, didn't have my greenhouse yet. So of course they weren't, they didn't get that extra warmth that the greenhouse would have given them. Uh, but they finally germinated and they've been in here, I guess, for four months since the day they were planted. And they really honestly should have been transplanted probably about three weeks ago, maybe a month, even a month ago. But I'm getting around to it finally. I've got everything else transplanted. These are the last ones I have left to transplant. So what I'm gonna do in my experiment part is I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five different kinds of containers on these trees just to see which one does work, does the best. And this here is just a standard one gallon container. And the only reason I'm gonna plant a few of them in this thinking that maybe by spring next year they'll have grown up enough that I could maybe sell a few of these at that size just that maybe I'm guessing two to three foot tall trees pretty inexpensive sell some of them just in one gallon trade containers okay the next one is the, what I use most of the time and most of these trees that I've transplanted is my one gallon root maker containers the air, air root pruning containers and when I've transplanted to these it would, the intention will be to transplant them up into a bigger pot eventually and then I just recently purchased these, which are root makers also, but they're two gallon root makers. So I wanna see if we get any difference between going straight into from a one gallon or into from these 30 or 18 cell trays into either one gallon or a two gallon. And then on top of that, I'm even gonna go into a three gallon root maker tray or root maker container. So I got three different size root makers, a regular one gallon tray. And then I have this thing here, which is a root trapper. And it's a grow bag. It's made by the same company, Rootmaker, that makes these pots. And it's got these fibers inside. So you can see those right there. And they're basically it works the same concept as these do. Is the root tips grow into these fibers and they get stuck. And they can't grow anymore. And once they get stuck, then it, they basically stunt the tips of the roots and then they branch out. So they should branch out inside this bag just like what they branch out of one of these containers. And then the Root Trapper 2s, they have this protective film over them and that's just to protect from heat. And it helps hold moisture in and it helps protect for temperature too. But what they've done on the Root Maker 2, or the Root Trapper 2s, is they left this open area right here to help with drainage because it'll drain better through this than it will through this. This is gonna hold moisture in, this is gonna allow it to drain. So if you get too much water into the pot, it'll allow it to drain out through the bottom. And the whole inside of it is basically the same all the way around. So I'm going to plant one in these. I'm going to plant a couple in these three gallons, maybe three or so in these, just a few in these, and the rest of them I'm planting these. So I'm going to plant up these right here first, and then uh, we'll come back, and I'll do the rest of them off camera. I've got almost 50 of these to plant. I'm not going to do all of them on camera because that would get kind of boring. So. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with I guess I got one sitting here. I'll start out with this two gallon container. And I'll do one of each of these on camera and then I'll fast forward through the rest of them. And then we'll come back and take a look at them after we've got them all planted up. So here's my trees and you see they've got really good roots all the way through. The root balls held together nicely. But these things could have been transplanted a little bit earlier and the reason to transplant them earlier, if you can, is just the fact that they're going to grow faster. It's not really stunting them by staying in this smaller pot, but it doesn't give them that extra opportunity to start growing and getting bigger like they will if you transplant them a little bit earlier. So, so there's a two gallon. That's pretty simple, pretty easy. So we'll do, we'll do one of these three gallon ones next. I'm using my standard soil mix, it's uh, three quarters uh, fine ground bark mulch, and then one quarter of peat moss, and then in my slow, slow release fertilizer inside of that. And I'm just randomly picking trees out of these pots. That one didn't want to come out very good, but it'll be fine. It'd be too hard to get all 
find all like size trees in this. So I'm just going with the ones I pick out. I have a couple real small ones in this tray that I'm still going to plant up, but I'm not going to put those in these first ones for my comparisons. Okay, so there's a three gallon. Okay, now we'll do this root maker pot next, or this root trapper. And these are going to be a little more difficult to plant because they're not solid. We'll just get some dirt down in there. Kind of pack it around to get it to shape. And this, this pot here is still the equivalent of a three gallon pot. It's a little narrower than the other ones but it's a little taller too, so. And I grew some trees in these a long time ago. I grew some Vitex trees in some of these pots and and they did great. Like I said, they, uh, they hold moisture in well. And the other big thing is that they really control temperature. Okay, so that's full almost to the top. Enough to go ahead and stick a tree in there. That's a nice one right there. I'm going to fill this thing up maybe about, maybe about an inch from the top. Just enough where I got enough of a lip to grab it and move it around. The hardest thing on these is just getting it packed and shaped and everything. Once it gets watered in good, it'll settle in and be fine. Okay, so that sucker's tall, but it's the same amount of soil, essentially, as the, the three-gallon container that I just used. So that's that one. We'll set that one to the side. We'll go ahead and do a one-gallon. That's our root maker one gallon container. Okay. And and this is just going to be our standard trade cheapo one gallon container here. Okay, so that's that. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna fast forward through and I'll go ahead and plan up uh, these containers that I have sitting here and then we'll take a look at all of them together at the end. Planted 12 of them up, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, 12. So I got all different sizes and shapes of them. I've got, like I said, I've got the Root Maker one gallon. I've got some of the two gallon or one gallon standard containers. I've got the two gallon Root Makers, three gallon Root Makers, and then I have the three gallon Root Trapper bag set up too. So I got all these planted. So that's going to be enough for me to do on camera. I'll do the rest of these off camera. Like I said, I probably still got another. 35 or so to plant so I'll do that off camera but I will do an update on these uh, probably the end of the summer when these things put out their last shoot of growth and uh, we'll see if there's any difference between the different containers in them so anyway I appreciate you watching please like please subscribe please share my videos and when you subscribe hit the little bell notification 
and that way you'll get notified when I do updates on these videos. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.